y'all, it's Christina with Stina Resells, and I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. And I am here with a Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. This one is the Fun Box, and which will contain 10 items, usually accessories, things like that, for $32. This box came to us from Phoenix, and it has a purple dot on the side of the box, so don't know what the dot means, but we're about ready to find out. My receipt. My last couple boxes have been very average, so I'm hoping to get something really awesome in this box. We will see. Okay, there you see the box. Kind of get an idea of what you'll get. So first item is a sleeping mask, which doesn't look to be super high quality, but sometimes I include those. Um, like I was selling a sleeping mist, like a really nice one, and I included a sleeping mask with that. So sometimes I'll do something like that with those. Okay, I do not know what this is. Um, some very interesting socks that are like, See through at the top with like a daisy embroidered on the ankle. They are new with tags. Well, all this says is the attic, which looks like it's a um, like resale shop, like a thrift shop. So I don't know what these are. These are so interesting. Hmm. Okay. Next up, oh, I got something similar to these. Oh, I got the, yes, I got these in my last box from Phoenix. Hmm. Huh. Got these, these go on the top of flip-flops. Um, so you can switch out the, the last box had like a diagram of how it works. Uh, but basically you have your flip-flop and these are Velcro and you can put different designs on them. So you use the same pair of flip-flops, but you can change out what they look like. Um, and it's the same brand as the other one, the lindsayphillips.com. So I will have to pair these maybe with the other set. See if we can get those sold. Okay, well this is a brand I recognize. We've got a Dunium Burke wallet, which is a very pale blue, like maybe almost a periwinkle. Um, it looks like it's actually in really good condition. Um, so it's got kind of the material here with the leather trim and then the inside. Someone had some photos in there. Right there. So that's good. It's in really good condition. Okay, next up, we have a pair of Flats, uh, Time and True, which I believe is Walmart, um, and they definitely feel cheap. Uh, let's see, these are a size 7. Don't look like they've been worn, so maybe if somebody's looking for a budget pair of flip-flops, I've got them covered. Flip-flops, flats, I've got them covered. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got a uh, universal thread um, little wristlet, which has the tags on it, but it's really dirty. So we'll have to see if I can clean this up. Um, I can tell the leather is really nice. It feels very high quality. And it's got a little slots for cards on the inside. I wonder if this says how much it, no, it ripped the price off, so I don't know. Let's see if there's, you know, it's like an outer pocket there. So that's, that feels really nice. It's very high quality. Okay, I may have, I'll have to try to clean that up a little bit. We've got a pair of socks from Hue. Just like a pair of, I don't know if they're actually wool or not if it says no they are not um acrylic cotton nylon and spandex 
lots of socks in my closet, guys. Okay. We've got a bag. Got a pattern on it with tassels on the top. I got a bag in one of my other recent thread up boxes um, that was like a backpack purse. And it was um, like the zipper was broken. It didn't have a brand name on it, but it was cute. So we'll have that has not sold yet. Um, this is new look. Kind of like a little Southwest vibe or Aztec vibe or something like that. Um, but it's in good condition. So. All right. I feel like this box has a lot of stuff in it. We'll have to count the items at the end. I feel like I got way more than 10 items. Okay. We've got some pins. Which I love pins. I like hardly ever wear them, but I think they're so fun. So they say all sorts of cute things by the brand Miro, which I'm not familiar with. There's no price tag on it. It looks like it's new and it's packaging. All right, we've got a pair of thermal socks or slipper socks. They have the little rubber things on the bottom. And I am pretty sure you can buy these at like Hallmark, places like that. I feel like I've gotten a pair of these from Hallmark before. Anyways, the price tag on here is $14.99. So that's good. All right. Like I said, I feel like there's quite a few items in here. Okay, these are really interesting. Okay, the brand is Dolls Kill. And they're these little pink bat wings with like a heart and a cross in the middle. Which seems like that shouldn't go together. But I think they're super interesting. Okay, let's see. Now we've got a shirt in here. This says size extra large. It does have tags on it. And it's also got a Warner Brothers tag. So we'll have to see what this shirt is about. It is Tom and Jerry. So that's cute. I'll have to see if my son wants that. He's become a little more picky about what he wears to school. So probably he won't wear that, but I'll see if he, I'll ask first before I list it, but I'm sure somebody out there will like it. Okay. We have another pair of shoes. Someone just really loaded up this box. That's cool. Um, never been worn. So I still have the stickers on the bottom. Um, a size seven and a half. And they're a little, I don't know what this symbol means. If you guys know what symbol, like what brand this represents, let me know. Um, but they're nice and they're white, which is great for the season coming up. A pair of flats. All right. Last item. Hold on. I, it's caught on the box. Okay. Last item. And it's still caught on the box. There we go. Is a towel of some sort. The brand is Vulcan. Let me show you guys. You can see that. Um, let me. Oh my. Okay. What is, what's happening here? Okay, this is more than just a towel. This is like a wearable towel. And it says, escape to the wave. Um, I don't know if this was like something that was like purchased on vacation, but it's like a poncho, but it's, it's towel material. Okay, so it's got like armholes here and it snaps right here and then it's like blue at the bottom huh that's really i've never seen anything like this let me see if it says i would assume this is one size fits all but i don't know um i don't know 
doesn't have a size or like a price on it or anything. It just has this tag that says Vulcan on it. It does say VulcanForte.com. So I might have to visit their website and check this thing out. It's really interesting. Escape to the wave. So let's see how many items I got because I feel like I got more than I normally do. Okay, so we have the towel poncho. The, I don't know what brand of these are, white sandals, so that's two. The pink bat ear heart cross earrings, which is three. The adorable pins, which is four. Tom and Jerry shirt, which is five. The slipper socks, six. The new look bag, seven. Flats from Walmart, eight. Hue socks, nine. The universal thread wristlet, ten. Which feels very nice. I might have to clean this up and keep it. We'll see. I also have to pay for the box. Okay, I already lost count. I think I said nine, but that might have been ten. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, Tanier Brook wallet, ten or eleven because I lost count. Flip flop straps, 12 and 13. Strange transparent socks, 14. And sleeping mask, 15. So I got a lot of items in this box. And I mean, I'm happy with these two items. I know Judy and Burke doesn't sell for that much, but um, this is in great shape. So that's awesome. This, I got two pairs of shoes, a bag. So I feel like for a fun box, this was above average. Best fun box I've ever gotten? No. Um, but, because sometimes, like one time I got a brand new designer wallet in one of my boxes. It was crazy town. I sold it for $150, I think. Probably could have sold it for more than that. Um, so not the best box that I've ever gotten, but this is above average in my opinion for a, a fun box. So I am very happy with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoy these kinds of reselling videos and like watching unboxings, um, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.